r slash ask reddit parents of reddit what is the creepiest thing your young child has ever said to you i was tucking in my two year old he said goodbye dad i said no we say good night he said i know but this time it's goodbye had to check on him a few times to make sure he was still there my two year old has been running from room screaming lately. The reason is always a guy. A guy. I'd go in the room and ask what was the matter. She would point into the empty room. Terrified. Whispering a guy. At first I thought I'd need to rethink everything I thought I believed about ghosts. Then. I realized a guy was actually a fly. She is terrified of flies. My 5 year old son asked me last week what do you see through the black circles in my eyes when you're controlling me when I'm at school? So I shouldn't throw him in the fire? 3 year old daughter holding her baby brother for the first time. I was sound asleep. And at around 6am I was woken up by my 4 year old daughter's face inches from mine. She looked right into my eyes and whispered. I want to peel all your skin off. The backstory here is I had been sunburned the previous week and was starting to peel. In my sleep adult state however, it was pretty terrifying for a few seconds. I didn't know if I was dreaming, or what was going on. I don't have kids, but once, visiting some friends on a farm, my buddy's youngest girl, 5 or 6, at the time, was afraid of the chickens. I tried to explain to her that the chickens weren't there to hurt us but she wasn't having it. So I'm sitting around the fire pit, looking at one of the chickens a few feet in front of me when I feel hot breath in my ear as she whispers. See, he's always watching. Horrific and hysterical all at once. My son, about 6, asked my mother to lay down on her stomach. Then he sat on her butt and started bouncing up and down and proclaimed. Now we're mating like reptiles. Thanks Discovery Channel. My co-worker's 4 year old daughter always thought that the rattling of the water pipes in the kitchen cupboards were white wolves and the sound always scared her. One day she was sitting at the kitchen table and she said, Mom, the white wolves aren't bad, they're our friends. Her mom encouraged the idea by saying, Yes, the white wolves are protecting us, they are our friends. Then her daughter added in, They're our friends, but not the man who crawls on the floor and stands by my bed. I work in a preschool. Creepy shit gets said and done all the time. The one that sticks out to me happened last year. There is a small kitchenette area in our classroom that the kids use during free time for playing house or whatever pretend games they think up. There was one little girl that I was keeping a close eye on. Mostly because of how withdrawn from the other kids she was. I noticed she was playing with a babiddle in the kitchenette. Rocking it back and forth and singing to it. She then took the baby, shoved it into the play oven and slammed the door shut. She turned around, looked straight at me, and said, Sometimes bad babies go in time out in the creepiest little girl voice I've ever heard before smiling and running off. That one kind of shook me. Edit. I've had a lot of people messaging me and telling me that I should keep an eye on her parents suggesting she was abused. The concern is very heartwarming and I'm glad to see it but I can assure you that this was not the problem. She just enjoys saying outlandish things because she enjoys the reaction. It's pretty common for kids to do. This was just a more terrifying example. When I was about 3 we had a cat that had stillborn kittens. I asked my father if we could make crosses for them. Which he did. As he was making them I asked. Aren't those too small? Dad, what do you mean? Me. Aren't we going to nail them to them? Dad, after several moments silence. We're not going to do that. Me. Oh. My toddler went through a phase where she would just constantly say hi to things. Hi 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 hi. One day, it came out sounding more like die 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 die. So I say to her what's that you're saying? And she turns to face me and just whispers the i i e e. While changing my daughter in front of the open closet door, she kept looking around me and laughing. I asked her what was so funny, she said, the man, to which I replied, what man? She then pointed at the closet and said, the man with the snake neck. I turn around and nothing was there. I'm afraid to look into the history of my house to see if anyone hung themselves in the closet. At least she wasn't scared. My brain is telling me to do things I don't want to do. He's 4. Edit. A little context. Like many kids, he has an imaginary friend. 
he has just correctly identified the imaginary friend as my brain. So when he says my brain is telling me to do things I don't want to do, he means my imaginary friend wants to play a game that I don't want to. Now if only the game wasn't burn them. Burn them all. My niece was sitting on the couch with a weird look on her face. Her mom asked her what she was thinking about, and she said, I'm imagining the waves of blood rushing over me. Turned out they had been at a local science museum with an exhibit on the circulatory system. One of the features was a walk among some giant fake blood vessels, and she was remembering that. When my son was little he, maybe three, he used to do this weird crawl where he would slide his forehead along the floor. That was pretty creepy in itself. Then one night he crawled across the hallway into my room like that and stood up a few inches from my face and made a weird meow sound. He got into bed with me and went to sleep. Another time he was freaking out about a monster in the basement so we went down and saw nothing. Of course. And as I turned out the light and headed upstairs and he said he's right behind us now. I might have peed a little. Possibly the creepiest thing he did was one day I scolded him for misbehaving so he hid his head under his blanket. I pretended I couldn't find him by saying where is my little Carson? He slowly lowered the blanket and with a dead evil stare said, Carson is gone. I am Rick. I'm certain he's possessed. We never knew any Ricks. As far I can remember. Still don't. Never figured out where he picked up the name. Reminds me of you general offensive unit from a similar thread. Getting my two and a half year old daughter out of the bath one night. My wife and I were briefing her on how important it was she kept her privates clean. She casually replied though. Nobody screws me there. They tried one night. They kicked the door in and tried but I fought back. I died and now I'm here. She said this like it was nothing. My noticeably pregnant sister and I were having a conversation at the dining room table. My 4 year old son was also present and asked my sister if there was a baby in her belly. She affirmed. He, completely straight faced, slid from his chair and headed for the kitchen saying we need to get it out. I'll go get the knife. I don't even know. My daughter is 4 and has taken to telling nonsensical knock knock jokes. For example, why did the mama cross the road? Because her arms were noodles. One day she busts this one out. Why did the butt cross the road? Because it had a plug in it. I have never felt so many conflicting emotions about my child. My mom likes to tell this story. Apparently when I was 5 or 6 I told her that aliens had stolen her real son. And replaced him with me. An exact copy. Someday. I would return to my home planet. But she shouldn't be sad. Because her real son had a good life in our zoo. My 3 year old nephew was at my cottage. He's asked me numerous times about the girl over there while pointing at one of the back bedrooms. The place is small. And there is definitely nobody there so I just dismiss it as a really active imagination. He has lots of imaginary friends. Then some friends are visiting and they have a daughter around the same age. She has never met my nephew. Twice in the one day she asked about the pretty girl while pointing at the exact same room. Definitely caught me out and I didn't know what to think. Then at Christmas my family was over at my place and my nephew points at a picture of my wife and asks if she is coming to visit us here or does she just stay at the cottage. My wife died 10 years ago. Personally I don't really believe in paranormal stuff so it's probably just my logical brain putting together a bunch of kids ramblings but it definitely got my attention. My 5 year old adopted little sister has a game she would play. Where we would pretend to go around to people's houses and take their children. Once we rounded up enough we would eat them. Violently and maliciously. This was her idea. Through and through. The name of the game? Social worker. After reading through most of these, I have come to the conclusion that imaginary friends are in fact, dead people. Daddy sleep then pushing my head underwater at the pool. Go back to sleep. There isn't anything under your bed. He's behind you now. Still haven't gotten over that one and shiver at the memory. Not to me, but to his grandmother. He was cuddling with her and being very sweet. He was about 3 at the time. He takes her face in his hands, and brings his face close to hers, then tells her that she's very old, and will die soon. Then he makes a point of looking at the clock, edited to add details. My 3 year old daughter stood next to her newborn brother and looked at him for a while then turned and looked at me and said, Daddy it's a monster, we should bury it. 
I was on a bus recently and we were stopped outside a walk-in clinic. A little girl in the seat in front of me turned to her dad and said, Death is the poor man's doctor. And that was that. Edit. Never realized this was an Irish proverb. Context. I'm Irish. I jokingly asked, what's the best way to get a girlfriend? 7 year old response, tell her to be my girlfriend or she'll never see her parents again. Why are you crying? Bad man. What bad man? There. Points behind me at a dark corner of the room. Lamp on bookshelf next to said darkened corner falls off as soon as I turn to look. She slept in our bed that night. This sort of relates. It still makes me laugh hysterically. My childhood friend recently found his journal from when he was about 6 or 7. One entry said something along the lines of, Sometimes mommy gardens. Sometimes daddy works inside the house. When daddy thinks I'm with mommy, and mommy thinks I'm with daddy. Sometimes I like to go into the neighbor's garage and play with their dangerous tools. For some reason I find this to be hysterical. Specifically tricking the parents in the dangerous tools part. He has no recollection of this happening. Thanks for watching mate. Make sure to smash that star button for more high quality content.